Got that free mower running. It's got an 11 horse rig. I've already done some work to it. See here, I welded some angle iron in there because the dashboard was all loose. So I welded some there. Two, one, two, three. Couldn't get the other one because it's behind this. And this kept kicking in the gauge. So I welded a little piece on it there. So, so it makes it. So I can. Yeah. So, I got the wiring working. It'll start with the key. And speaking of that, I'll show you guys. Right here. Damn it. I fucking hate jumper cables. They fucking suck. I got the cables hooked up there because the battery won't fit in the box. So, see. I need to change that starter out. It sounds like a piece of fuck. It does not sound good. So I'm gonna change change that starter out. I have another one on my porch over there. From the same exact motor, actually. It's 11 horse. <clears throat> 400 cc. Just like the other one, except for four years newer. And it's a lot better shape. As you can see, I need to get. I took that plate off because I didn't know it was up with the wiring. It turns out that this safety switch right here was bad, so I bypassed it. And the kill switch wasn't hooked up. It was this toggle, but I made that into the headlights instead because the headlight switch was really bad and put a different sw uh, key switch into it, and it works now perfectly. So. Now I got headlights. I just fixed that like five minutes ago. That's why. That's why I had it running. And uh, changed this tire out because the other one was bad. I don't know where I put it. It's. Uh, I don't even know where I put that stupid thing. Oh, it's over there. Way over there. Other things. Okay. Uh, I need to wash this thing up because it's pretty dirty. Another another thing I welded is right here. Because. Uh, there was a piece like taken out, like right here, just cut. So it, like the whole frame would just like bend and twist when I was riding it. And I was cutting the grass over there. So I had my neighbor weld that, that up and then two pieces, that one, one on each side of that. So the, the dashboard was just gonna fall off. I don't want any more. It's welded pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I'll make some other videos too. I don't know who did this, but. The front axle doesn't move anymore, it's just solid. Somebody hammered a piece of wood into there, it looks like. So, I'm going to take that out, because I don't want that there. I need to give it a, a wash, because all these cobwebs, nasty shit. It was sitting for like three years, the guy said. But I guess it starts pretty easy. Basically. One second, I need to screw with it. Um. And 
that stalled because the motor was on low, so. And I didn't feel like turning the key off. <laughs> That's what I did. So I'm gonna see if I can fix this very drive because because this little ro this shift rod right here, neutral forward reverse, when you get it going, you can't move it. It won't stop, so you can't move it. It just goes whatever whatever it's on, it has to go, and then you have to turn it off to get it to stop. Because it won't the brake doesn't work at all. It won't the, like that. It won't even stop driving if you push the clutch in. I don't know what's up with that. So if you guys can help me out with that, I'm not uh, and upload a video about how to fix it. Then that'd be really nice, and I, I'd really appreciate it. This is a 1984 MTD Montgomery Ward, 11 horsepower, 11 horsepower electric start, 38 inch five speed transaxle, and I don't know what have any any idea on why it would just keeps going like that. It won't stop. I don't know if it's the wrong belt or something, or the very drive stuck, or that needs to be adjusted I'm not really sure on that so if you guys could help me out with that and really be, I'd really appreciate it and that's pretty much all I have for today and I'll make some other up to update videos just to let you guys know what's going on with this thing I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one because it runs and it's pretty complete I think it's kind of cool because it doesn't have any major issues except for little tiny cosmetic things you know Except for that uh, driving issue, but I'm pretty sure that's an easy fix if I can just figure it out. So, uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about it, and I will do another video later. And the good thing about this one, it doesn't have any rotting out tires, so that's another that's another plus. Except for that other one that I took off, but I had the extra ones. I even have another one waiting. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Brad45201. Later.